Alright YouTube, here we have my brand new turntable kit. Got a green show for $15. Along with a few other things I'll show you guys later. Sitting in the background you can see, so don't have to tell you. But it comes with your pits, inspection pits. And the floor usually looks like that. Like the extension pit. But, that I have done, very simple weathering technique, of taking any sharp tool, in my case, the closest thing I had was the scissors, and I took my scissors and scarred lines in the plastic the way I think that crack should be, using prototype pictures. Then, I take black paint on a paper towel, or gray, or whatever mix you're going to use, just smear it around, get this consistency of dirt and it'll get into cracks and cause you to look like you have major cracks and spots. Here, the reason there'll be so many cracks here is because this is where I'm going to have heavy machinery for fixing locomotives and stuff. And here, this is black and dirty because you have more steam engines over here on this side. The diesel will be over here and whatever. This is just for the video. They'll, they'll both be weathered the same eventually because it's going to be all steam, but this is just for the YouTube video to show what they'd look like. And that's why this has to be done here. All it doesn't really matter because there will be equipment and stuff on top of it. And then the brick walls, you normally get your brick and it's this color on the back of this. Just this plain old brown where my pinky is. But I took titanium white paint and put it on a spongy brush, one of these. Again, for like a dollar a piece of hobby shops and stuff. Put the titanium on them and just rubbed across it. And it looks like you have mortar in between your bricks. Finished product looks like that with windows. Right there. And then, nice little thing I've done is this kit comes with smoke jacks. Like this would go on your roof. Everybody knows what these look like. And then you got your smoke collector, the little funnel that go inside. And they both happen to be hollow can't really tell them that one, but it is. Let me get over here. Hey, yeah, you can see some light in there. Let's see. Nah, I can't do that. Anyways, they'll go like this. And where they go, if I get the piece, is you got a roof panel here. Smoke ventilator goes on the top. Sort of like that, except for the level. And then underneath, your little funnel goes down here. Of course, it'll be a whole lot straighter than that, but this is just to show. They both are hollow, so all I have to do is drill a hole in my holding piece that holds them, and I'll be able to have a working smoke jack. That's part one. Part two coming up later. I'll probably have the roof and stuff on, maybe the doors, and probably going to put some lighting in it. 